So in this video, we will demonstrate how to install WordPress in your cPanel manually step-by-step -step, in a simple and easy way. So we'll start first by googlewordpress.org. And this is the official site of WordPress. Then click on Get WordPress and download the latest version of WordPress. For our next step, we need to get access to our cPanel. And in order to do that, just type your domain URL, followed by the port where cPanel got installed, and the port number usually is 2083. Now I'm going to log into my cPanel account. Before we start, as you can see, our website is empty and nothing installed on it yet. So in order to install WordPress, first go to File Manager. Then open Public HTML and click Upload. So from here, we can upload the WordPress zip file that we have downloaded previously. Now click Reload. And let's extract the files. Now open WordPress folder. Check Select All and click on Move. And here, make sure to edit the path to public HTML only, then hit Move Files. Now we can delete the WordPress folder along with the zip file because we don't need them anymore. Now for our further step, we need to create a new database from our cPanel. And to do that, I want you to search for Manage My Databases. Then create a new database as it is shown. And you can name it with whatever you would like. Next, we will create a new user by filling the username and the password. And there is one more step where we need to add this current user that we have just created to our database. And make sure to allow all the privileges to the user. I'll uncheck the drop option just for security reasons and hit make changes. Now, we're almost done, and we can open our website URL to complete the final steps. So select here the language you prefer to use and click Continue. And click again, let's go. Now, we need here to fill in the exact database information that we've just set before. For the rest of settings like database host and table prefix, keep the default values no need to change anything. Once you finish, hit Submit and click Run the installation. So here we only need to name our website and create the login details of our WordPress admin dashboard. Click Install WordPress. So as you can see, We've successfully installed WordPress without any issues, and now we can log into our admin panel. And that's it. So this is pretty much how you can install WordPress in your cPanel manually. And as you can see, it's not that complicated. So for more videos like this, don't forget to like and subscribe if it's the first time you watch our video.